Hey guys, so Millie is almost three months old and pretty much since we brought her home from the hospital she has had problems digesting with her digestion so every night between the hours of what would you say like six and sometimes even like late to like 11 or 11 30 sometimes she is just uncomfortable her body will get super stiff she'll try to straighten her feet out we'll try to like bend her over to try to burp her sometimes she burps sometimes she toots it out sometimes she has to go to the bathroom but it takes a while to get her there so We've tried everything. We've tried gas drops. We've tried um, this digestion. What's that stuff called? We've tried probiotics. We've also tried, what are those other things? Do you give her twice a day? Oh, you can hear it tooting right now. Oh, the doctor reflex. Oh yeah, like uh, like acid reflux. Yeah, like reflux. A, like a reflux um, type medicine. And nothing really seems to help. The gas drops, when we give them to her, are like a short-term fix. Um, and sometimes like we'll give them to her late at night, she'll go to sleep. Um, but if we give them to her at around like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., within like a couple of minutes, she's just in pain again. All, all night. Yeah, so she has to be held all the time in order for her to like feel relieved at all. Um, that's obviously not sustainable. So we just ordered these uh, Frida Baby Wendy, the gas, see, sorry, Frida Baby Wendy, the gas passer. Um, it's just called like the Wendy. The Wendy, by okay. Frida Baby. Okay, so we ordered the Wendy by Frida Baby. Here, this is what it looks like. And I just opened up the package and this is what one of them looks like. Okay. Oh, and they said it's going to be really dirty, like it could get really messy. Correct. So we need to get a towel. So this is what it looks like. This package comes with 10 of them. So we're going to try it right now for the first time and we're going to see how it works. Don't do it too, like, much. Forgot to massage your belly. That's step one. Downward, it says. I think there's only four steps. Yeah, and <laughs> I missed the first one. Okay. Do you okay, hear that? That's the whistle? Yeah. How was that? Hey, baby. Did that feel better, Mel? I mean, I think it felt better. I heard some of it come out, <laughs> and she's smiling. You feel better now? Do you feel better now? Yeah. She's so swiggly. I know. Okay, so you couldn't really see it on camera on purpose, but um, the first two times, well, the first time I tried it, I forgot. I forgot to massage her belly. I just got the steps out of order. But once I got the steps in order, um, the first time I put it in, there was a little bit of gas that came out. Um, massaged her belly again, a little bit more came out. And then the, the third go round, um, some more came out. No, you're good. Um, some more came out along with some poo-poo. Um, and she's definitely less wiggly. So we're gonna give it, you know, a couple minutes. And I'm telling you guys, like, she normally, like, has a hard time for hours, so we'll be able to know here pretty quickly if there's an improvement um, and can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on if this, uh, this Wendy thing actually works. So, check back in in a little bit. She is kicking her legs, you can see. She's, like, a little squirmy, but she doesn't seem to be uncomfortable. Um, it just seems to be baby wiggles. So, so far, so good. Not even five minutes later, and um, she's not really fussy right now, but she was fussy just a second ago, and is starting to act like she's uncomfortable. So I'm gonna try one more time, and we'll see if it helps. Got a little too. Oh, there you go. Well, we only got tiny toots out of the second go round. Um, nothing major. So, I'm gonna throw this one away and we'll give it a couple more minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple more minutes and little Millie girl seems to still be uncomfortable. So, the experiment of the Wendy gas passer is still a question mark. 
We're gonna try and feed her now. Maybe she's hungry, but this is how she typically acts when she has an upset stomach. And usually we can tell the difference in two ways. Number one, she will refuse milk. And number two, it's a lot of like pressing her legs, you know, like trying to like straighten or like elongate her body, which is like her way of like relieving herself. And if we try it all to like make her sit up upwards or whatever, to like burp her or whatever, like it's not good. I'm not gonna try it right now, but that's how we usually can tell. I feel like it's an improvement. Yeah. It's just not 100%. 100%. Yeah. 25% improvement, which I'll take. I, I think I was expecting, like I saw this video on TikTok. That's actually how I heard about this, um, where this mom used it. And it made, it sounded like a duck call when, when the little kid was going. And it was, um, it seemed to be like really effective. Uh, I, I, I think that this is somewhat effective. I don't think that it's going to solve all of your problems with your colicky or gassy child. Um, but I think it's a good thing to have on hand um, as an option. So all in all, uh, maybe we'll give this one a B or a four out of five stars. Um, keep it on hand. Thanks for checking out the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. I would like to post more often than what I do. Life with two kids gets a little crazy, as you can imagine. Um, but I'm going to be more dedicated to it. And thanks for watching this one. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.